Watch over the valiant King Kalen and guide him as he faces this terrible evil. Watch over Terrence. All right, all right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Tower of Ishal is off-limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. By orders of Terran Loghain, the tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now, everyone's to stay out. I didn't see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. Goes back to the time of the Tevinter Imperium. Dwarven make. That's probably why it's still standing. Make a speed your steps. Soldiers of Ferelden, my sisters and gentle folk, we stand here on the eve of battle. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Me? I was hoping for a comely lass with golden hair and terrible eyesight. <laughs> the name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. We're right on the northern edge of the Kakari Wilds here, miles and miles of savage country. My home village isn't far, and I grew up on tales about the wilds. Even been in there a few times. <laughs> Scary place. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. I suppose I could do that. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Let me know what you'd like.
Hello again. Is there some? I also have. So long as you keep it. That course of action is inadvisable. Welcome, young man. Yes, and you are a mage of the Circle. You must be familiar with the Tranquil who serve there. I create and oversee the enchantment of weapons and armor for the King's forces here at Ostagar. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the Circle its wealth. Certainly we would not get by on charity. It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The Tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and Lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Goodbye. In the name of Andraste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's eyes. So let it be. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the Revered Mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens, by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. And here I thought I'd been yelled at by every mage in camp. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from the Circle of Magi. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. Did Duncan mention me? Nothing bad, I hope. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Right, that was the name. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. Davith and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? Right, that cut purse Duncan conscripted. I'm not sure what Duncan sees in him, to be honest. Keep an eye out, maybe we'll see the other one.
or I can track him down later. With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. Not that that's all Templars do, but yes, the Chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. You do? Huh. That's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. You have the bearing of a man who knows how to fight. If I may ask, were you a soldier before you came here? I had heard Majors join, but, um... Well, I had not, um... <laughs> that is... Yes, I apologize. Um, I have always found magic unnerving. I should be pleased that in this case it will be on our side. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me? No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you? All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. <laughs> You're a funny one. They won't listen to you no matter what you think. Not that I wouldn't mind you trying. You're a good sort. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me, is all. Hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here. But I'd trade you for some food and water. I swallowed it, but it's uh, come back into my possession since then, so to speak. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the Darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. Did he now? 
Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Huh. Considering where that came from, let's hope we're not the only ones in good health. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the Darkspawn blood. You... you need to convince them. We've got to run. The Darkspawn are coming. The Grey Wardens will die. The King will die. We'll all die. I apologize, Warden. He's been like this ever since they found him in the wilds. Aside from his wounds, we're not sure. His blood is untainted. He's just... terrified. You... you can feel it, can't you? They taint the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. They'll come out of that forest and spread, like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. He calls. You there, Elf. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turnlow Game that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. What do you need? You haven't brought more instructions from the turn, I hope. If you're not from the town, what do you want? We're busy. We aren't. We're Ash Warriors. Our training has been passed down since Lathias the Dwarf's son first harnessed the battle rage of the Dwarves. It is an old tale. We harness the rage inside us, nurture it, and draw it out so we cannot fall in battle until our last foe is slain. It is a Dwarven discipline. But we've adapted it to let us fight alongside our hounds. That is our way. I trust my hound with my life, as he trusts me with his. To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the Darkspawn horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hound survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Darkspawn blood is poisonous, but not always fatal. Those who survive grow immune to its effects. The Wardens say the tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. They use scent to distinguish us from our enemies, but the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with Cadiz which overpowers the blood, and also paint our hounds so they know we are the same. My thanks. There is hunting to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Tern. Can you imagine? A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. 
Without Logan, you can bet the King wouldn't be winning against these Darkspawn. He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activities. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the King have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the King since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the King yells right back. Personally, I think the King should do what Tern Logan tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. Hold on, then. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. His Majesty could not contain his excitement after your meeting. How could I not hear about you? Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? Marek respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marek would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. Well, that's not an argument I'll repeat here. I hear you're from the Circle of Magi. The first enchanter spoke highly of you. A great achievement for one so young. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? If Kalen has his way, you will. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. He is Marek's son and the leader of my beloved Ferelden, and a very young man. I try to keep that in mind, as should you. Hello? I I'm sorry, is there something you needed? You want to talk to me? I I'm not in trouble, am I? Oh, that's a relief. I'm one of the King's servants, which means I run messages around and make deliveries all day long. If you fall behind, you get the switch from the Quartermaster. Oh, I wish I were back at the palace. There are far more places to hide. I better go. If the Quartermaster sees me chatting, he'll think I'm being lazy and that'll be my hide. But it was nice talking to someone. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I suppose I do, though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the King whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles, but the King just waves him off. The King wants to end the Blight with a single huge battle the Bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the king wants in the end, though. The king thought it was funny that Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the queen. She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the king did, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't discuss it. As you wish. Look carefully, man. This wretched thing is a darkspawn. They're strong and cunning and smart, but don't listen to those old wives' tales. They can be killed. Stick them with your sword enough, and they go down. Their blood is black as sin and poisonous. Don't even touch it. You get tainted with that blood, and you may as well slit your throat. We've lost many dogs already. Had to muzzle them to keep them from biting. It's a long and painful way to die. This is the place. I don't know what to believe. We've won every battle, but there's more of them each time. Makes you wonder if them Grey Wardens are right. I don't want to think about that. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect time to get drunk, if you ask me.
There are lots of darkspawn, different kinds. We're getting reports of things we've never even heard. Ten Loge may not think much of the Grey Wardens, but the King was wise to bring you here. Well, in for a silver, in for a crown, as my dear mum always used to say. We should see what Duncan wants us to do next, don't you think? You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I... apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood, one for each recruit. There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Old treaties, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. With so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed that have not held true. It will be an overgrown ruin by now, but the sealed chest should remain intact. Alistair will guide you to the area you need to search. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. <laughs> 